now let's see how we can add additional fields to our form say we are going to add an additional phone number field we are copying this field and then I'm changing the name your phone phone number will not be required and I am deleting this field and going to create a text field here I am setting name as your phone phone number here as placeholder text ID your phone class your phone just insert if I create another field to pick website URL then we can create it easily by going to URL field your website website URL here your website and class your website now if we save and see the output our additional phone number and website URL field is generated now let's see how number field works if we copy again one old field and say it your number and then delete this one and go to create a number here we'll find two option as field type spin box and slider let's see one by one for the spin box field type I am setting name as spin box I'm not going to set any placeholder text here and I can set a range minimum and maximum value say minimum 3 and maximum 20 I'm setting a ID of spin box class as spin box and before going to see output I'm going to create another one using number field this time it will be a slider that is why I'm going to set it as slider here I, uh, we will also be able to set minimum and maximum range I'm going to set this ID and class name as slider if I see number as range and press save we can see to additional field named your number and your number as range is generated here we will be able to set any number and even we have option to increase or decrease number by using this button and using range field we can define 
for required number using this slide option now let's go to see date field I'm going to copy once again and your date I'm going to delete this one and go to date your date this time also I'm not going to set any placeholder text ID your date and your date if I save and see a date field here yeah, we will be able to write any date it is almost like number field but basic difference is you can increase or decrease number here but in date field you have to write your own date if we want to add date picker then we need to add some additional plugins or ext extensions of contact from 7 now let's see how drop down menu field works it is actually select field selection field I'm going to copy this one and your selection and going to delete it now drop down menu and drop down here you can set as many options as you need one in each line option two option three you can check allow multiple selection if you want to give that option say I am giving this option and you can check insert a blank item as first option I'm going to pick it and here I'm going to set one ID as drop down and one class as drop down if I now see output of this newly created drop down menu then you will see nice drop down option is set this drop down is showing all the option because we have chosen multiple option checking functionality if we don't choose this that is if we delete this one and save again and refresh then we will be able to see this nice drop down box this will help us to pick any one of available option if you want to set any option as default checked then you can do it easily you just need to write default keyword and set say I am choosing option 2 as default option that is my option 2 will be preset and I'm deleting this blank option here from here and now save then if I refresh then you will see number two option is pre-selected